Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am out here in the backyard just enjoying a nice little quick morning walk to get my day started. It's a foggy morning out here, as you can see. Um, so anyway, I'm going to attach a video that I recorded yesterday, just kind of a TTC update video today. I won't be pregnancy testing, but go ahead and watch this first and then we'll catch up after. All right, so Right now when I'm recording this, it's still technically 16 DPO. So I did a testing video this morning, but now it's 2.37 p.m. I'm pretty sure I am starting my AF finally today. I'm starting to have menstrual cramping and a little bit more bleeding and blood mixed with CM and all of that. And so yeah, this definitely feels like AF and I'm pretty sure I'm going to proceed to start bleeding heavier as the day goes by. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark my period on this app. I use the Fertility Friend app. So I just, I'm just curious to see like how it's gonna change my ovulation date and stuff and see if it matched up with what I was feeling. Based on today being cycle day one, since I have started bleeding and getting the menstrual cramps, let's just mark it as light for now, but that will go ahead and change everything up and then we'll see. Okay, so that switched everything up. So today would be cycle day one. Now, if my cramps for some reason go away and I'm not bleeding anymore, I'll go ahead and change this back, but I'm pretty sure this is AF. And so it sets my new ovulation for January. I think it happens on this day, cycle day 11, but it highlights cycle day 12, which is still close enough in the range. So based on when I got my period this month, I was correct in my symptoms that I was having during ovulation. Um, the app is pretty accurate according to that. All right, welcome back. So as you saw, I did end up getting full AF yesterday. Um, right when I was recording the video after that full AF came it was just a full flow like enough to fill a pad and tampons and whatnot so today is actually my second day of AF so we did not end up pregnant this cycle and that is okay it's actually kind of a relief like I mentioned in yesterday's video because now I get to be done and over with with AF before we take our trip if things would have worked out like they usually do and I would have ovulated around the time that I'm usually ovul like usually ovulate every single month then I would have been having my period right before our trip so I'm glad it didn't work out that way it worked out for the greater even though I did not end up pregnant this cycle at least it's behind me and I don't have to worry about it I can just enjoy the trip I don't have to be dealing with spotting and any of that it does feel nice to receive confirmation that I do know my body and I am in tune with my body. I'm able to tell when I'm ovulating, um, when my fertile days are, all according to my symptoms. This is just something that you learn over time as you keep tracking. In the beginning, I did take ovulation tests, but as I kind of just learned my own cycle, learned how I feel before ovulation, and learn how I feel the day of ovulation. I don't need to waste the money or the plastic and the wrapping and all of that that comes with the ovulation strips. Besides that, we're not like desperately, desperately trying to conceive either. We're kind of just not preventing and seeing what happens, leaving it all in God's hands. So that is why I don't really take ovulation tests. So I already know pretty much when I ovulate. This month just happened to be super early than what I'm used to and even it tricked my app as well. I use the Fertility Friend app and it usually gets my, ovulate, my ovulation right on point. But this time my body decided to do something completely different. But that's okay. So moving forward, I'm just going to continue doing it like this. I didn't take no progesterone cream or anything this month. And that was pretty good. I only spotted for two days before AF came. So maybe the progesterone cream um, has not really been helping that much. Maybe my cycles are regulating themselves. Um, I am doing the healthy eating, exercising, getting more active, trying to lose weight. So all that is going to help at the end. But it is just nice to know that um, 
that I was not confused or anything. I definitely did ovulate when I felt all the ovulation symptoms. It just happened to be a little bit early this month. And even if I were to be taking ovulation tests this month, um, sometimes ovulation tests aren't 100% accurate. Ovulation tests work by actually measuring the level of LH hormone or the surge that happens within yourself prior to ovulation your body releases a hormone and the luteinizing hormone and that's what makes the egg actually be released but whether your body released the egg or not like after the surge or a couple days after the surge or on the same day that is a complete mystery you can your body can get prepped and ready to ovulate and then something doesn't work out so then later on you get a different surge that can always happen or in some strange cases i don't think it's possible to ovulate before the surge but you just never know you could actually be releasing the egg way later i can feel when my egg actually comes out because i feel the cramping the really sharp intense cramping and then after that it just kind of dies down but some people can't like i couldn't feel that before i was ttcing before the losses and before um when i had my other two kids my i never felt that before i never noticed ovulation it is until recently that i have been noticing it so as you as time goes by you do start kind of learning yourself and learning how you feel because you're paying attention so much in the beginning like i said i was taking ovulation tests but all they really did was confirm what i already knew and what the app was telling me so that is just how i worked out this month like i said i'm just looking forward to our trip um, we're just relieved that that is done and over with on to a new cycle and let me see when i'm supposed to ovulate the next month so for next month my ovulation is around february 13 that would be cycle day 15. we'll see what happens i'll be paying close attention around that time to see i'm not sure if i'm going to ovulate early again this month or right on time or maybe later who knows what's going to happen this month so that will be neat to kind of see what happens after this really early ovulation month but if you guys are still testing or waiting in your two-week wait i wish you the best of luck this month i know that this year is going to be a good year for many of us so i am staying hopeful for you and keeping you in my prayers i hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week this week and a weekend i'm looking forward to sharing our trip with you guys as well so stay tuned that will probably be the next video that i work on so i'll let you guys know when we come back from the trip and show you everything that we did have a great week, guys. Thanks for watching.